So, are we ready to round out the rest of April as we face Real Madrid? Yeah, that's what's going to be coming up, guys. Hello guys and welcome to Dreaming is Possible here with Chesterfield and yes we are going to be rounding out the rest of April here and we will be taking on obviously Real Madrid yeah so I did say that in the last episode and it's going to be Watford I decided like to get Southampton out of the way I should say and we beat them two goals to nil and we beat Manchester City three goals to one which um, is doing us the world of good um, in obviously the Premier League uh, you know with the fact that if you remember in the last episode Leicester did us a favour by drawing one all with Liverpool now I'll just quickly show you the Premier League table we still have a game in hand over Liverpool but as you can see we are clear at the top um, by a couple of points that is putting us in a fantastic position um, with only what we got five games left for the season and um, regarding the Premier League yeah it's um it's looking really good and um, I can't believe how, how things are, uh, are sort of like you know panning out we know that we're already going to be in the FA Cup final we know we've already won the Carabao Cup can we stay in the Champions League that is it we've got semi-finals of the Champions League first leg coming up against the mighty Real Madrid yeah it's going to be a tough one we thought Inter was going to be tough this I think it's going to be um, a lot tougher but anyway let's see how we do so due to injuries and a few sort of like fitness like issues and stuff this is the strongest side that I'm able to put out we've got Timo Horn in goal Cruz is back which is good to see Arifi Upamecano and Piana at the back four so um a solid back four we've got there. We've got Neto and Dzwowski in the midfield. We've got Keener playing in the cam. Carl Warner and Baptista are out on the wings. And then Verskogen is up top and is actually going to be wearing the captain's armband for this one as well. As for um, Real Madrid, wow. Haaland is their striker. Rashford out on one wing, Sancho out on the other. Yeah, jeez, man. Like, you know what I mean? They've got some, like, you know, really good players. And even, like, you know, these players, you know, like, they're, they're actually, like, you know, new gen players. They're all, like, world class players. They've all got five stars already. So, yeah, um, the only player that out of these here that isn't like um, on five, I think Haaland's on four and a half stars. These are all on fives. Every one of those is all on five, apart from the goalkeeper, who's actually on three. So the goalkeeper is their weak point. But we have to get past all these first to get to him. Like, you know what I mean? But that is the, that is the thing. Um, yeah, it's it's a solid side. Um, but don't get me wrong. We have got some obviously good players in our side as well. But um, yeah, they've, they've just got like an immense like team right now. Like, and um, they are top of La Liga as well. They, um, so they are looking really good. Can we um, dethrone... The mighty Real Madrid, who are so used to winning, obviously, this competition. Um, we have got ourselves to a semi-final, which is fantastic. And even if we bow out, I think we've done really well in our first season within this competition. Right. Let's see how we do. So we do start things off actually at home in this one. Like in the last few sort of like you know, knockouts, we've been we've been starting away. So um, we're just going to try and stop them from obviously getting an away goal, and um, that would be um, the ideal scenario and ideal situation. We 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 still kept it like that strange angle. That was a bit weird, but the balls travelled. I don't know what happened there. That was really bizarre. What a bizarre like, you know, um, highlight that was. But there we go. So I'm going to play things out from the back here as Encrypted Zawalski now plays this one across here to Piana. Piana now pushing forward down this left hand side for us. Can he get past and get a ball in? He can. It's a chance. It's come to Zawalski and we've managed to get it in. Wow, what a shot. I thought it actually went wide, but he's managed to just get that one just in, like, you know what I mean, near the late post and beats Penner in goal. Um, but yeah, it's, it, this is a great um, start for us as Piano, like I say, managed to just get that little burst of pace. Like they headed it out here from that hit, that right back for theirs, not having the best of games. He's headed it straight to Dzwowski. I mean, he made a mistake earlier on where he was like giving it, he gave it away straight to Carl Warner, but he's not having the best of games. But 10 minutes in and we are leading by a goal to nil. But like I say, it's that away goal thing. If we can keep them shut out, it'd be great. But it's a great chance for him now as Haaland has put this one in but it's actually gone in off Roberto Hernandez um, the centre back um, Haaland initially getting the header but Hernandez it is and he, he isn't offside and he's actually got his first goal of the season what a time to get it as well as it goes in here Haaland initially gets there and uh, Timo was at full stretch but couldn't um, get to it and yeah like I say they are onside so they've got that dreaded away goal which could you know be costly and um, we've just got to keep 
plodding along as Carl Warner, uh, he's, he's gone again and then, yeah, I mean he did this, don't get me wrong, he did that, didn't he, like, you know what I mean, in the inter game and he ended up getting a hat-trick, so I'll, I'll leave him alone for now, I won't criticise him too much. Chance for a corner, a corner, a free kick is Baptista puts this one in, good save this time from their keeper and surely that's a, why has that gone as a goal kick? I'm sure he got a hand to that. Played into the box here, Amalio's got it, finds it out here to Collado, comes here to Awa. Knocks it back, Hernandez out here to Milito, two centre-backs pushed really high up, if we can get the ball off from here, Sancho's there, chance for Collado and they've got a second one, I just thought with their centre-backs pushed all the way up there, we could have got a breakaway but we weren't able to get it and um, they've got another away goal, yeah it's, it's not looking good. But it's not over, you know what I mean? We've got a second leg, you know what I mean? And this game still isn't over yet, like, so and we've done well before letting like, coming back. But, yeah, Real Madrid just seem like a, a different animal right now. So forcing them to, to play it out from the back here is Emilio plays it out here to Peters. Peters surging forward now, they're right back. He's still going. Decided to, like, play it back to Emilio. Plays it out here to Sancho. Jaden Sancho puts it in the box, Harlan's there, and luckily, I mean, they could have literally been four or five at, at this rate, like, you know, it's just been one of them, like, and we need to we need to be just playing a little bit better, we're at home, we need to get the crowd going, here is Warner now, He's get, at least he's getting them on target now, that is something, so, half time, and we are trailing by two goals to one, and as you can see, we are not playing particularly well here, um, yeah, struggling for possession, yeah, just just not playing particularly well. Like we need to we need to buck our ideas up in the second half. So we need the crowd to to get behind us now and push us forward. Here it is with a chance with Fiskogan now. He's got nobody in the box really. He had to go alone there. Jaden Sancho all the way back here helping out and is our our plays it inside. Finds Emilio. Emilio now plays this one out. Rashford oh, just intercepts that one up really well. Knocks it forward. Collado's on to this one. Can we get it blocking? We couldn't initially late, but luckily for us, he hits it wide. I think it's time to make some more changes because some of our players just aren't playing well. Keener is just not having the best of um, games. Unfortunately, Appleby's out injured, so I've not been able to bring him on. Uh, so we'll, we will bring on... I'll play Warner there, and we'll play Charlie Lawrence out on that wing. We'll try that, see if that works, and we'll go very attacking as well. See if we can at least make it 2-2, two -two, that'd be something, you know what I mean? But yeah, we've got a lot of work to do um, in Spain, and I just don't see how we're going to do it. So there we go, we're not the best of him. Um, I mean, we had 20 shots, but only six on target, and that just sort of sums up our sort of like performance and the fact that our best performer was Timo Horn. Kind of sums things up a little bit there. We were under the cosh um, from um, Real Madrid, and we just, yeah, we just weren't, we weren't clinical enough when when needed to be. Um, it is only two one though. It's it's not the end of the world. I mean, yes, it just means that we have to score two goals in Spain. That is like that is the situation because even if we were to win one nil in Spain we're still going out like you know so a lot of work to be doing in the second leg obviously that'll be in another episode but yeah I mean the fact that we've got to the semi-finals uh, yeah I, I wouldn't be too um, disheartened if we if we didn't you know progress you know Real Madrid like we've got, we've got that massive experience and they've got just loads to five star players like so there we are let's see how we do now um, back in the Premier League so as you can see Watford look like they're going to be playing for a draw with them <laughs> Jesus I mean like, look at the defensive like lineup that they've put in five two two one formation for them. Um, we have got to make quite a lot of changes. It's only been two days since the Real Madrid game, um, and then it's going to be two days, and we've got another match. It's just because like the massive backlog because of the competitions that we're in and stuff like that. So we've got Timo Horn will remain in goal as our, obviously our number one. O'Hanran, Janssen, Danso, and Oli Clay are going to be our back four. Drea and Unkunku in the midfield. Wally Watkins is going to play as the cam. Diaz on the left. Baptista on the right and Charlie Lawrence is going to play up top um, like I say due to like fitness levels and stuff like that so this is why um, this team's out so Watford maybe have a chance here. I, I think this this has got nil nil written all over it. You know what I mean for us to like you know break through there. But if we can get through it, who knows? Like we'll we'll find out as we travel to Vicarage Road. So Oli Clay puts this one in. There's a great opportunity, and I think there could be a penalty here. 
Taylor is consulting. Yes, it is. Herbert pushed over Charlie Lawrence there. So early doors here. A minute in and we've got ourselves a penalty. Can Baptista make up for that poor performance that he did in the Real Madrid game? And he has done by slotting that away and picking up his eighth goal of the season. So poor start there for, for, for Watford and their like, game plan's probably gone out the window a little bit, hasn't it? Like, um, will, they, will they change things around? We'll find out. But here is Ollie Watkins now for us as he just lays it here to Ollie Clay now. Two Ollies working well together. Knocks it back inside. And Kunku, oh, if that had gone in, hits it on the first time on the volley. What an effort that was. Chance here for Watford as they put this one in, but Timo Horn grabs that one out of the air, no problem. Just rolls it out here to Patrick O'Hanran. O'Hanran now pushing forward down this right-hand side for Chesterfield. Can he get past? He's, he's looking to try and work it, but he's had to go back. He's been forced back here from the pressure from, from Watford. Janssen now being forced all the way back here to Timo Horn. So good pressure here from, from the home side. Danso now just plays this one out. We're having to work things over to this side now as Diaz now pushes forward. Delphin Diaz goes for an effort, but just too high. Ollie Clay standing over this free kick, puts this one in, and it's gone straight in. Oh, we put the keeper off there with like just players running towards him, and it's gone straight in from Ollie Clay. What a hit that is from, I don't know how many yards out that is, like, you know what I mean? But, yeah, it's completely gone over straight in, bounced in, and Baptista there, I think, is, is putting the like keeper off, and he's, he's just like misread that completely. And that's just one of those like fluky kind of goals, isn't it? So, 10 minutes in, and we are, yeah, we're in control. And like I say, Watford's game plan is, is completely and utterly fallen to pieces now, as Baptista has definitely made up for the, the Real Madrid um debacle that he was involved in. Ho Hanron trying to put that one in comes to Ollie Watkins now, back from Diaz. Watkins hits this, and the keeper does get behind it and pushes it out for a corner so corner ball being put in here from baptista goes to the far side tries to get dancer one on it not going to get there falls to ollie watkins oh what a hit what a hit picks up his four for the season he would have probably had a few more but he's had like you know some long-term injuries this season i think you know that's just as you get older as a player you're going to pick up more injuries so it's a shame but he still managed to net himself four goals this season and he can always be relied on that's what's great about him so Watford got a little bit of soul searching to do as they try and like you know maybe get something out of this and give the home fans a little something to cheer about, but not to be as we cleared it away. But maybe they can come back here again as Harrison's on the ball, knocks this one into Decore, who's still at Watford, and um, Watkins now just lays this off and we've took the ball off them. So Watford not having the best of um, best of times here at home. As Unkunku finds Baptista, just trying to work this straight forward here. It's been a long highlight, this one, as Baptista pushes forward again. Just lays it off into O'Hanron. Unkunku now to Watkins. Nicely worked. Dry it out. We've like worked this well. Clay now. Can he pick anyone out? No. It's going to come back to the captain, Dreya. And Unkunku hits one. Well, he had like an effort early on, like, but this one he's, he's got right behind. And we are just absolutely ripping Watford apart here. And um, yeah, it's 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 goal number. Is that three or four? I've lost count now, like, of how many goals we've scored. <laughs> but yeah, a lovely hit here from Unkunku. Really good strike. And it is four, yeah. I completely lost tr track of how many we've got. It's like, just mad. Watkins now lays it in. O'Hanron lays it off. Dreyer now hits it, but blocked. Can O'Hanron get there? He can. Still keeping the pressure on here. Watford will just want the half-time whistle as soon as possible. Well, maybe they won't because they're going to get an absolute rollick in from the manager. So maybe, I don't know what they're, what they're wanting at the moment. As Oli Clay, they're not wanting to win, that's for sure. Oli Clay now pushing into the box here. Played it across. Chance of Baptista and that is five. Wow, we are absolutely destroyed. I think this is probably just due to the fact that... Um, the, the Real Madrid game, I think our players have just like thought we, we played really poor against Real Madrid. We're not really poor, but we, did, we didn't, you know, sort of like, you know, cover ourselves in glory, as it were, against Real Madrid. And I think now we're trying to give our away fans something to at least cheer about and, and keep the pressure on at the top of the Premier League um, over Liverpool. So another chance here. We're not even reached half an hour into this game and we are 5 nil up. It's mad. But dispossessed, um, Unkunku was there. But we're trying to win this back and we have won it back. I mean, what it's just like just being um, shown how to play football right now. Baptista now surges forward, goes for it, blocked initially, comes here to Oli Watkins and goes again and it's 6 nil, And we've, like I say, it's not even like half an hour has gone. This is mad. 
What? Just how poor are Watford? I mean, just this is just terrible from them. The home fans must be just like, can't believe what has happened here. Initial shot there, just laid off, and then Ollie Watkins just buries this and gets his second of the game. Ollie Clay over the free kick goes in. It's actually headed away, and Tammy Abraham. Um, oh yeah, I didn't realise. Yeah, I've just noticed that Tammy Abraham um, playing for Watford now, and he's gone all this way here, and maybe he can get something here, but no, not to be. But that's like I think Watford's first actual shot on target in the, in this game. But he managed to get a corner out of it. Played into the box, headed away though from Janssen. Going to fall here to one of our ex-players, Lewis, but highlight has ended. And what's happened here? Oh, Baptista's picked up an injury. Oh, that's not good. We've got quite a few injuries at the moment. Um, oh, what do we do? Uh, I'll put Charlie Lawrence out there and then bring Verscoggin on is what I'll do. So I'm hoping that Baptiste is not out for too long. He's been out already this season for quite a long injury. Um, so that's a bit of a shame. But um, yeah, 6-0. Uh, what, what what can you say? I mean, what what would the Watford manager be just saying like now? I, I just, I have no idea. Going out in the second half and, and, and I don't know what you'd say. Um, that's mad, isn't it? But yeah, six goals to nil for us so far after 45 minutes. It was actually after like on 28 minutes or whatever, wasn't it? But there we are. I mean, what's good about this is it's like players that are just stepping up because, you know, they know that they might not necessarily get all the amount of goals they've got. And Drake has now added to it straight away in the second half. He's got his second goal of the season, the captain, and um, it's now seven. And this is just looking t in, it, just embarrassing right now. It really is embarrassing. As you can see here, just, yeah, I don't know. The, 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 well, for players aren't even, like, attempting to jump for that. They're just letting, like, a score now. So there we go. All the damage was done in that first half. We just picked up the only, only only the one goal, like you know what I mean, in the second half. But yeah, seven goals to nil. Watford were just terrible, absolutely terrible. Um, and um, yeah, we were we were fantastic, and that's great to see. And it just gives us that like lift, and it also gives us a five point gap over Liverpool now in the Premier League. So, like I say, a five-point gap in the Premier League. Um, right at the top, we've both played obviously the same amount now. Arsenal have actually played um, a game more, but they're not even in the not even in the race. Like you know what I mean? At the end of the day, um, it is just between the, the top two, and it's 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 ours to lose. It's literally ours to lose. Like you know, we, we're in a great a great sort of position. We've got four games left of the season, and basically, what Liverpool need us to do is to lose like two of those games and um, that's what they're, they're requiring as for which games they could be that we've got Bournemouth Brighton Norwich Crystal Palace uh, pretty good to be honest um, there's no team there that you'd say is going to cause us a major problem um, we'll see anyway thank you so much as always guys for, for tuning in massively appreciate it really do and um, the fact that we've gone over 100 episodes in the series is, is madness and thanks for you know i don't expect all of you that have, have stuck along and, and and watched all of them but yeah it doesn't matter do you know what i mean I'm, I'm just glad that some of you are watching some of them and um i'm you're enjoying them and that's what it comes down to so as long as you're enjoying them guys Keep watching, keep those views up, keep the comments coming. Um, I, I'd like to see more of the comments, guys, if you can. That'd be awesome because this is the reason why I do it. It's just to like, interact with you guys rather than you know, with the comments and stuff like that. And um, yeah, I hope to catch you on the next one. Dave from Moomonga Gaming, signing off. Cheers. <laughs>